students uh, today we will uh, discuss about torticelli theorem we will uh, write the statement and then uh, derive the expression for uh, the equation basically torticelli theorem uh, talks about the velocity of efflux velocity of efflux is that uh, when uh, you um, take a cylindrical vessel and uh, fill it with some liquid and uh, make certain hole okay take a cylindrical vessel full uh, fill the vessel with some liquid and uh, you make a hole somewhere uh, below uh, from the free surface of the liquid and uh, if you make a pin hole then the uh, liquid will uh, start coming out of the uh, cylinder then uh, the velocity at which it comes out is called uh, <coughs> velocity of efflux now the velocity of efflux is given by none other than the great scientist that is uh, Tom Sully and uh, that we are going to derive the Tom Sully equation for velocity of efflux. So first let me write down the statement then we will discuss more about that Tom Sully theorem. What about the statement? State that the velocity. Let, just let me explain to you. Then we will write the statement. If you make a pinhole in a cylindrical tube, if you make a pinhole at some distance from the free end, then the liquid will come out of the hole. With whatever speed it comes out, if you allow any object to drop to the same height where the pinhole is made, if you allow an object to fall to the same height, then the body will gain certain velocity at that same height. Whatever velocity the body will gain at that time, that velocity must be equal to, is equal to the velocity with which the liquid will come out. So that is the Tordicelli theorem. Okay. So it says that uh, first let me write down, then uh, we will discuss more. State that The velocity of flux of liquid at distance h below the free surface of the liquid. This is a container containing some uh, liquid. This is the free surface. This is the free surface. I make a free hole here. What will happen? The liquid will come out of this uh, thin hole and fall like this somewhere here. The velocity with which it comes out. Is called velocity of uh, efflux. This is the velocity of efflux. Now, where that pinhole is made, uh, it is made at a height, say, h, at a distance h below the free surface of the liquid. The pinhole is made at a distance h below the free surface of the liquid. Whatever velocity it comes out, that same velocity will be attended by if you allow an object to fall to the same height. If I allow any object to fall to the same height h, the body will also gain some velocity here that velocity and this velocity will be same okay this is what is the statement so we'll proceed to write for the uh, the velocity of influx of the uh, liquid at a distance h below the free surface of the liquid is equal to the equal to the velocity of the free falling body to the same height same height that means uh, we know that when a body falls to the height h its velocity here will be nothing more than uh, 102 gh so it is uh, 102 gh its velocity is this so here also the velocity should be 102 gh so the velocity of flux is nothing but uh, This is the velocity of efflux. This is a statement of uh, Torricelli's theorem. Let me again explain to you. 
that it just talks about the velocity of the liquid that is coming out where the hole is made. If the hole is made here at a distance h below the free surface, then the, the velocity will be under root 2g h. This uh, velocity is same as the velocity of a free deformed body to the same right h. So this is what is our Torricelli's theorem. Now we'll uh, derive this Torricelli's theorem. We'll prove this using Borrelli's equation in the next part. Let us proceed. So students will derive the Torricelli's theorem uh, using uh, Borrelli's uh, principle. So, so let me derive the same diagram again because the diagram is important. Is here the hole is made. This is the free surface, just inside and just outside. I'll consider two points here. I can see here the two points, just inside and just outside. And uh, uh, here, I want to apply a boundary theorem. So this point one, this point two, okay. This is point one, and this is point number two. Where I want to apply Bonnelli's theorem. So applying, uh, so when the liquid comes out of this, okay, it comes out with the velocity v, okay. Now this uh, consider that this is the velocity of e flux, and uh, how the velocity is found. This is, uh, I will uh, make uh, a zoom part of this picture. I'll just uh, you know, magnify this portion. This is uh, one and this is uh, two. The two part uh, is uh, lying outside the tube and uh, one part is just lying inside the tube. So when you apply Borrelli's theorem, which is uh, the pressure plus uh, half rho v square. This constant that is a uh, pressure plus half rho v square plus rho gh is constant. Now, one for one, I'll write uh, p1 plus half of rho v1 square plus rho gh1. For two, similarly, I'll write uh, in place of one, I'll write two. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let us see what is uh, this P1 pressure. Okay, the pressure here is uh, because of the pressure at this point, atmospheric pressure plus the pressure due to this height uh, H of this liquid column. So, this P1 is nothing but rho GH because uh, the height of the liquid column is uh, h, so pressure will be rho g h at the bottom of this. And extra pressure is this because this is the atmospheric pressure, pressure always added. Now for the point and uh, as far well, as this is concerned, the, this particular point A is at rest. This point is at rest because uh, just before coming out of the tube, it has no velocity. It is assumed that is no velocity, the velocity the, all the liquid molecules are at rest. So this part will be zero. Why this part will be zero? Because the velocity is zero. Plus rho g h1. Whatever is the height for this uh, h1 is the same height for h2. So if I call this height as uh, h1, then uh, h2 is also h1. For these two points are at the same level. So therefore, uh, because uh, h1 and h2 are same, so this will cancel. So potential uh, energy for the uh, unit volume part will cancel because uh, these two points, uh, the points are just inside and just outside the orifice. This is also called an orifice. Okay, this is the orifice. So just outside or inside the orifice, the there is the same level height is zero. The potential energy cancels out. Now, so uh, this is a uh, row. I cancel out, so I am not writing here. Okay, there I am writing zero. Okay, I cancel out, I am not writing anything. 
So this P2 remains like that and uh, this is like this. What about this uh, P2 here? This P2 you can see here the point is lying outside and the, the point is lying uh, outside the tube that is uh, subjected to or exposed to atmospheric pressure. So that P2 is nothing equal to P0. So this uh, P2 will be P0. Okay. Now again these two will cancel out and uh, finally you will be left with uh, rho GH. Rho GH equals to half rho this square. From this again you will cancel out rho. We are left with this uh, V2 equals to under rho GH. This is the final expression and uh, that is what we are discussing here. You can see that uh, we are talking about the velocity is under root 2 gh. That is the velocity of flux. This is equal to velocity and finally we got v2 equals to under root 2 gh. And here the v2 is what uh, the velocity here we have considered v2 which is in fact when this is v. So you can write the velocity of v equals to and finally you can write that uh, v equals to 2 gh root. This is known as Relativity of flux. Okay, so this is uh, the derivation of uh, Torricelli theorem. Okay, that's all in this video. Thank you very much.